Oh, I don't have a speech or anything. In the, in the... Huh? Well, he's out. I mean, he's out for today, and, um, you know, we'll see moving forward. I honestly, I don't know, Kyle. I, I hope. I mean, but, uh, I mean, I, I can't even say. It's not even, it hasn't been talked about yet. No, no, he shot today uh, a little bit after practice. That was his first real court time, but uh, there was zero running still, so. No, <laughs> I mean, being honest, I, I, I can, can lie to you and say, yeah, I guess that's nice, but I would rather have them. But, you know, listen, this happens, uh, seems like more and more in the playoffs and um, you just got to build a boy. You know, you're not going to be, it's not going to be one guy or anything like that. Uh, we do have experience uh, with it this year. Um, we've, we've done much better this year than in years past. And so we're going to lean on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, there's no concern other than, you know, you want everyone to be healthy. Um, you know, you trip, this freak accident, there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, Jimmy Butler steps on someone's foot, you know, it's just basketball. Um, you know, it, it's really no way of avoiding it. Uh, and it's bum luck sometimes. I mean, this uh, Joe done everything that we've asked him to do. Um, since I've been here, you know, over the last three years. And yet every year at this time, something happens and all of them are freak accidents. There's literally nothing you can do about it. And especially with Joe, he's, he plays in traffic a lot. You know, he's, he's on the floor a lot. Um, and teams are very physical with him. They have to be otherwise. Yeah. I don't have to say anything. Um, they, they tell me he can play his plan, you know, really, um, I don't, I got out of that a while, as you know, I don't, I don't, I just let the doctors and whoever else, you know, every team has a team of 40, you know, looking at them and, um, Joe does the work. I know that that's all Simon's the guy that tells me all the information. Uh, you know, obviously this is not normal where he's you you missed a game and then you you have 10 days off or nine days off and you haven't done anything in that then you miss another game and you you know just the basketball side of me says if we can get him on the floor uh to do something uh before he plays i think that would be the wise thing to do but uh we'll see Doc. Well, you know, listen, it's it's hard to put a lot of minutes in working with the non joel minutes, like even during the regular season. So uh, that would be the silver lining, I guess, is that um, we 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 put a whole weekend of it, you know. Um, and so when he does come back uh, in those minutes, he's off the floor. And now we, we've run more stuff. We've uh, we, we know what we need to do. Um, so. You know, uh, we're going to try to do that for 48 minutes tonight, you know, but even moving forward, I think it helps us in the long run with that. That's it. Zach, what have you liked about the way your team plays when it's had to without Joel? And uh, have you done it enough that it would qualify as a style? Yeah, I, I think, you know, uh, and my map, you know, um, I think it's 16 times. I may be wrong on that, but, um, you know, we, we do play – we, we open the floor up more. Uh, I think that's clear. We try to get in the paint. We play more draw and kick. Uh, we're not, we go small at times uh, with PG at the five. Um, you know, uh, we, we play a lot of zone, you know, at times. So we, it's the kitchen, kitchen sink mentality, honestly. But we're used to, we, we do it, and we do that pretty well. Our guys are willing to do it, and that's a good thing. Doc, I'm sure this is the farthest thing for your mind right now, but the MVP award could be announced in, in the coming days. If he is sidelined, would that put a damper on that, that achievement at all for him? There's no way uh, winning an MVP, there's any damper. You know, um, I think it would be an amazing achievement. And um, yeah, so yeah, I don't think it would. It obviously, you would rather 
see them do it in playing, um, you know, but they picked the day to give the award. Uh, we don't. So, um, yeah, I don't think, I think it'll be a great thing for Joel, but it also, you know, I'm, I'm making my assumptions because I've said it for the last month. Um, I think it'll be a great team for the team and everyone else as well. Doc, you mentioned earlier, kind of referenced um, the fact that a lot of star players are dealing with injuries, despite yeah. all the load management and everything that's gone yeah. into trying to maintain. Uh, why do you why do you think that is, and mm -hmm. do you think it's different in this era compared to when you coached here, when you played previous? Yeah, it's different. I mean, I don't know if I don't know why it's different. Honestly, obviously, the load management stuff is all different. We did our, our own version of load management when I was here uh, with Paul, Kevin, and Ray. We set them at times, you know, not to the extent that is done now. Um, I have no idea why there's more injuries. Um, the better athletes, they're off their feet more, you know. I mean, Stockton told me years ago, the less you leave your feet, the less you get injured. You know, um, hard to play basketball, not doing that. Uh, John figured that out, you know, but most can't. So, um, you know, I don't know the reason. Um, you know, that's changing too with the load guys. Uh, we amped our guys, we ramped our guys up late in the year uh, because we felt like guys play more minutes in the playoffs and they have to be ready to sustain that. So uh, there's still a lot of theories on it. In terms of guys that might come in and compensate without Joel, Paul mm -hmm. and PJ almost represent either end of the playoff experience spectrum. Yeah. But Paul has talked a ton about how PJ has rubbed off on him yeah. and the way that he's led him over the last few weeks and months. Mm -hmm. How much have you seen that from your perspective, the way that PJ has run? Yeah, a lot. I mean, PJ's been great with Paul, um, with Max. I mean, PJ, he, he doesn't pick. He picks a lot of them. Uh, but he's been great this week, you know, uh, with his voice. Um, you know, you, listen, you, you, we practiced as long as we had training camp this week. And when you think about it, we have more days this than we had in our actual training camp. Uh, and the guys are sick of us. Uh, they, they wanted to play anybody. They wanted to see anybody but us with a whistle in practice. And PJ had to snap guys back into shape three or four times this week because it, it wasn't an easy week watching. I mean, we played our fourth game before some teams have played the third game. Um, so we've watched a lot of basketball. It'd be good to play basketball again. Yell at the refs again. I mean, I can't freaking wait. I miss the refs. So, all oh, that's no, I'm joking. Hey, hey guys, um, obviously, Heather Walker uh, meant a lot to me. Uh, you know, 17 years or whatever. And, you know, leaving two kids, a uh, husband, and it happened so quick. You know, when for Heather first came, um, I didn't know what to make of her. You know, when she first came, she was so strong. Um, and early on, we would bump heads. And I was like, no, this is how we do this. And, you know, because I was the old school PR thought, and, and she was bringing in the, the new way. You know, and she was right. I hate to say it, uh, but she was just terrific. I got a chance to uh, text back and forth with her uh, probably about three weeks ago. So, uh, you know, I try to tell our guys a lot that uh, we live in a, a real world sometimes. You know, we really do. And, um, but you still have to do your jobs and you have to do things. So uh, didn't mean to get emotional. This was not planned. Uh, but there's just so many people that work uh, that you have a chance to touch. Uh, and, and those people have a chance to touch you. And it's just sad when you lose one so young and so gifted. Um, and, and really, like a lot of people, uh, you don't ever give them a chance to say thank you. You know, uh, I have all these people working on our staff and I, I can be a pain in the ass. I really can. I'm, I'm a big culture guy and I crack the whip every time I think culture's wrong. And, and I'm sure there's, there's, I don't even want to know what they're saying about me sometimes when I walk away. Uh, but they do the job for you every time. 
And uh, this is still a very human game for all of us. And so I uh, just wanted to share that. Uh, she was terrific and going way too early. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Kevin. Yeah.